Hi, my name is Sharon, and I'm going to show you how to make this viral burnaway cake trend that's super hot right now. First, here are two of my favorite burnaway cakes that my friends did to show you an example. We're going to turn Helmo into a 4D experience. Here's the second one, and this is equally amazing. This one is also a really good example of what happens if you just use wafer paper on the bottom as well. You can see towards the end that it burns through into the cake frosting. Now for her design, that actually worked perfectly. So there's no problem there. But if you want to make sure it doesn't burn through into the frosting, use an icing sheet instead as the base layer. It's less likely to burn, so you can still see the image underneath. Okay, let's get to putting together this burn away cake. Having a decorated cake is the obvious part. You just need four major things. Wafer paper, icing sheet, cake to decorate and a lighter. It might seem like you need a degree from Hogwarts to do this. I pinky promise you don't. It's actually a very achievable technique. It's a really fun cake to make to give people the illusion of magic. The key though to this burn away cake trend is to have your base image as an icing sheet and your top image that you burn wafer paper. So I'm going to show you how I decorated this cake and give you four bonus tips on successfully creating a magical burn away cake. You're welcome. First tip. You want to make sure you're using an icing sheet on the base layer. Again, this is just to make sure that when you burn through the first layer, that the bottom layer doesn't also burn into the frosting. Second tip, and you're going to want to make sure that you have enough space from the border of the cake to your text. So what I mean is that when you pipe the border of frosting on your cake, you want to make sure you don't accidentally cover the text so you can still read it. Third tip, now for the top part that you burn, highly recommend using wafer paper that's between 0.25 millimeters to 0.27 millimeters. To begin with, the wafer paper isn't going to burn super fast like in the videos. These are all sped up, but you don't want it to burn really slowly either. So if you use double density wafer paper like 0.5 or more, it's going to take longer to burn. Fourth tip, make sure to properly chill or freeze the cake. I use meringue based buttercream in this video and the Valentine's Day cake I tried to make did not really burn so well on the sides. This was my first experiment and I was a little impatient and a little too excited. I totally forgot to chill the cake and I can hear my old chef instructor lecturing me now. Like this is what happens Sharon when you try to cut corners. If you don't chill the cake properly, the frosting on the sides like the borders is gonna melt into the text just like mine did in my first experiment. I did have a backup image so what I did is just scrape off the top and did it again, making sure that I chilled it this time. So either you make sure you give enough space from the border to the text, or you make sure you properly chill the cake. Chill the cake. One last thing, I mentioned earlier that the burnaway cakes actually take a few seconds to burn. So I have some example videos to show you how long it actually takes and the speeds I have them at. I hope this video was helpful for you because I think this is a really fun trend. You can get amazingly creative with this technique. See you next time.